Hey there, Foundation staff. This is Level 2 Researcher Theron Sherman, and today's broadcast is on SCP-1057. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1057 is kept in a reinforced glass containment tank, 4 meters tall, 15 meters long, and 9 meters wide, filled with water which has been treated to replicate a temperate ocean environment. See document 1057-H-22 for specifications. Vegetation in SCP-1057's habitat is to be maintained twice a week. See document 1057-H-19 for specifications. It is forbidden to enter SCP-1057's tank for 30 minutes before or after feedings. SCP-1057 is to be fed 5 kilograms of raw meat and fish three times a day. Once every four days, this meat and fish is to be injected with non-toxic fluorescent dyes. See document 1057-G-4 for specifications. The tank is to be lit with ultraviolet lamps. Description: SCP-1057 is an animate empty space, 5 meters long, in the shape of an adult tiger shark. It does not appear to have any mass, however, it displaces water by an unknown mechanism. SCP-1057's refractive index is approximately that of air, which makes it partially visible when immersed in salt water. As well, its anti-shadow is discernible under bright light. Experiments involving the insertion of inanimate objects into SCP-1057's quote, body, have revealed that there is nothing there. However, further experiments along these lines are contraindicated, as this triggers extremely aggressive behavior on the part of SCP-1057. SCP-1057's behavior has been assessed by Foundation ichthyologists as being within normal parameters for an adult tiger shark. Any food consumed by SCP-1057 disappears, with the exception of the non-digestible fluorescent dyes, which are regularly added to SCP-1057's food to facilitate monitoring its behavior. These dyes persist within SCP-1057 for 5-9 to nine days, and outline a digestive and circulatory system. Several hypotheses to explain how this is possible when there is manifestly no actual shark present have been suggested, tested, and disproved. See Archive 1057-N4. Acquisition Log SCP-1057 was captured in the Redacted City Public Swimming Pool in Redacted, Colorado, where it killed two swimmers and mutilated a lifeguard. Five people were killed in the ensuing panic. Foundation personnel embedded in the local hospital reported the incident. Retrieval agents arrived on the scene, and SCP-1057 was eventually taken into custody. During forensic examination of the swimming pool premises, document 1057-K24 was discovered on the staff bulletin board. Although document 1057-K24 is handwritten, no fingerprints were found on it. Document 1057-K24, Transcript Panic means that the idea of a shark can be more dangerous than an actual shark. It can even be more dangerous than no shark at all. Are we cool yet? Well, philosophically, I mean, yeah, there was no shark and five people died in the panic versus the shark attack that only killed three, but if there wasn't an attack at all, then there wouldn't have been a panic. It, uh, I'm not going to argue philosophy with are we cool yet letters. This concludes today's broadcast. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell using your encrypted YouTube account and support our broadcast at patreon.com site 42.